Hello everybody, this is Strange Gamer back to kick for the final round two matches of group stage games. I, I completely sounded better in my head. But anyway, these next matchups will finish round two. And we are concluding with group H. These matches being Le Poke versus Random Guy 86, Arctic Warriors versus Dendro, and Danik Sactal versus Jonas Chu. So, without further ado, let's get on with them. Alright, sorry about that, a little bit late there, but anyway, in the red corner for Le Poke, we have Albertosaurus. Move set chosen by yours truly, which is something I don't usually do, but they seem desperate, so I did it anyway. Anyway, in the blue corner for Random Guy 86, we have an Augustinia. Um, not much to say here since it has all the rush moves. <laughs> uh, well, it didn't. Well, it kind of worked in the first matchup, but it didn't because he lost. But we'll just have to see how it works this time. Both of these combatants. I think the Pope lost. Yeah. Both of these two looking to bounce back after opening round defeats. Ooh, that's a good start from the Albertosaurus. Bam. Oof. Crit from the Albertosaurus. Now, normally the, Al <coughs> the Augustinia would be at the type advantage here, but it doesn't have any water moves, so that, that rule does not apply. And it's not paying off the random guy so far because the Albertosaurus is completely on top. Ooh, could this crit change that, though? <coughs> a Galley Rush, a Dromeo Rush, and a Strufio Rush. Oh, all three of them are getting in on the act. <laughs> this could be big damage coming. Oh, I'm going to put guns. Wow, and just like that, Random Guy 86 claws their way back. But the Albertosaurus does take out Augustinia and give Le Poke a 1 0 lead. As for Random Guy's second dino, we have a Yang Chuangosaurus. Again, it doesn't have any super moves, but it does have all the dive moves. And will it pay off? We'll just have to see. The poke does open up with a slight lead. But, Random Guy 86 evens the score. And the Albertosaurus goes down. Okay, as for Le Poke's second dino, we have an Albertoceratops. <laughs> Again, I chose the moveset, so that means it's awesome. Oh, I have such a small ego, don't I? Indeed I do. Leon then has a go. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh the young Trangosaurus getting off a crit. Ooh, they're all getting in on the act again. Big damage coming Alberta Ceratops' way. You <laughs> boosh. That was awesome. And look at that, look at the damage dealt. I, I think, unlike the first matchup. Having all three of the dive moves is actually paying off. Oh my god, not all of them again. No, just the two this time. But two will be enough to give Random Guy 86 a sizable lead. Alright, as for Le Pope's third and final dino, we have a Euoplocephalus. Um, probably a dino I might have picked for my team, to be honest, because. Looking back, I feel like I should have picked something with a bit of resilience, and Euoplocephalus has that. And it has, like, balanced moves, so its crit doesn't do too much damage. So, Euoplocephalus is a good pick. But, can it help Lapoke get out of this? Ooh, the 
Quicksaber getting triggered, but not activated. Ooh, a crit from the Yangchuangasaurus. Tappy Jara dive, Tupu Fora dive coming in. I'm gonna cough. <coughs> wow, random guy 86 looking really good in this match. Oh, that's a tight. And random guy 86 has guaranteed himself points. But. He's going to be getting four points. Three for the win and one bonus point. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I thought, wait, nope, you want the to survive, but it didn't. Because the dives will come in to finish him off. A uh, good win for Random Guy there. Lepoke, well, better luck next time. Right, time to update the table and we'll move on to our next match. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Arctic Warriors going up against Dendro. Up first for Arctic Warriors, we have a Mega Raptor. Not much to say here. Packing a lot of punch. But in the blue corner for Dendro, we have a Ceratosaurus. Um, yeah, Ceratosaurus is quite a nice moveset. I like the moveset, to be honest, and I'd probably go with that if I, I, if I redid my Mega Raptor. I'd probably use that moveset. Looks pretty solid. You know what I like about these tournaments is all the movesets you guys pick. You know, I, 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 see, I pick up a lot of strategy from you guys. Alright, we open up with a tap. Uh, yeah, that'll suit Ceratosaurus more by the looks of it. Ooh, but the Mega Raptor gets off the first hit. Not too much damage dealt though, since all its power is in the crit. Speaking of crits, that Hurricane Beat has been triggered. Ooh, that Hurricane Beat not be activated though. Instead, the Ceratosaurus is getting off a crit. Lots of damage dealt there, but that will trigger Hurricane Beat. Ceratosaurus is dead! A mayfly coming in from Megaraptor will seal the Ceratosaurus' fate. Okay, up next for Dendro we have a Sugamimus. Beware that Futaba cannon could do a lot of damage. And Shockwave has been quite a potent move in this tournament, so don't be surprised to see that activate. Ooh, scissors. Ooh, a hurricane beat coming from the Mega Raptor. Arctic Warriors gripping control of this match. Bing, 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 bing. But the Aqua Vortex does get triggered. Could that be what the Sugamimus needs? Yes, it is. It's a Aqua Vortex coming from the Suga. That will nullify all of Mega Raptor's moves. Ooh, and a Shockwave to boot. Which means the Super Mimus is in a very good position. Okay, so a Super Mimus' move will be paper. What will Mega Raptors be? Paper as well. Oop, that's a tie. But that will be enough for Super Mimus to defeat the Mega Raptor. Okay, up next for Arctic Warriors, we have an Alpha Sukumimus. Oh, I didn't realise this matchup. <laughs> yes, the Alpha dies Sukumimus here with a more attacking moveset, if I'm honest. But it definitely packs a lot more punch in the crit than the normal Sukumimus. Actually, it looks like it kind of has a longer snout. This head looks a bit bigger. 
But, big ahead or not, there's a Futaba cannon coming from the normal Sukamimas. Dendro pulling this match back. Oh, look at that. Lots of damage dealt. Arctic Warriors, remember? Part of that famous draw in the first round. Ooh, a shockwave coming from the Super Minus. Has Dendro stolen this match's momentum? I think he might. As su normal Super Minus will be going for paper. As will the Alpha Suka. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's an ocean panic. Arctic Warriors taking out the Sukamimus with an Ocean Panic. Ooh, could that be what Arctic Warriors needed? Because Dendro was getting some momentum there. The Shockwave not fire. The Shockwave not helping there. As for Dendro's third and final dino, we have a Creep for Source. Uh, watch out for these energy sapping moves, but most of all, watch out for that super impact. Could do a lot of damage. Oh, so slimy today. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. But Arctic Warriors does have the slight lead. Ooh, and they're going to be extending that lead. But Emerald Garden has been triggered. Ooh, an Emerald Garden be activate then. I mean, it's not going to steal much HP, but it's going to steal a bit. Actually, be interested to see how much it steals. Will it be just that tiny sliver? Oh, it's not. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway. As for Arctic Warrior's third and final dino, we have a Megalosaurus. Again, not much to say here since it since it had all secret moves, so skip. Will we see one of those secret moves in action? Will we not? Can the Karifasaurus win this for Dendro? Or will the Megalosaurus charge to victory for Arctic Warriors? Ding. Ooh, that's not a good start. And that sound means this move is going to do extra damage because this Megalosaurus is reform type. Which means sometimes its moves will do more damage. As you can see there, but Emerald Garden getting triggered once again. But Dendro not in a good position here. He needs to win this matchup to stay in the contest. And... He won't be winning this matchup, and Arctic Warriors claims the victory over Dendro. Um, a well fought battle in the end. It was it was back and forth. You know, Arctic had the upper hand early on, and then Dendro came back into it. But in the end, Arctic Warriors managed to pull away with the win. Right, time to update the table, and we'll move on to our final match of this session. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Danix Tactile, we have a Gigant Spinosaurus. And well, I need to get my reflexes ready, because that is Gaia Mountain. <laughs> uh, in the blue corner for Jonas Chu, we have a Baryonyx. Um, I don't know how this matchup's going to go. I mean, there's type advantages throughout the teams. You have... I think the most important one being... Danix Tactile having the type advantage over Jonas Chu's third diner. Which I think could be crucial. But Jonas Chu does have a type advantage over Danex Tactical as well. I think it does. Ooh, the Baryonyx opening up strong with a water sword. A good start from Jonas Chu. Claimed a bonus point win last time. In quite an impressive style. Oh, that be a tie. What be activated? Sand Trap is activating, which means the Baryonyx's defense in a tie will be lowered. So that means, to put it simply, Baryonyx will take more damage when it's a tie. Ooh, good hit there from Danix Tactile. Ah, you'll see that now. 
Now, see the difference? See how much damage he took there? That's, that's what Sand Trap does. Ooh, the Baryonyx, though, striking back. Despite that Sand Trap, Jonas Chu does have the slight lead, but Crystal Crusher could change all that. Ooh, it might change all that. Crystal Crusher coming from Gigant Spinosaurus. And it's been quite a, e a back and forth start so far. And look how tight it is so far. Not much to split these two up. Oh, and we end with a tie. And both of our combands go down. Um, okay. How do I play that? Okay. Because the Gigant Spinosaurus is revival type, I'm not letting Jonas have a hit here because when a revival type dinosaur dies in a tie, it gets to come back once. And as you saw there, Gigant Spinosaurus did die. So it so I'm counting that as its revival. So it'll come back once. So that's why Jonas is not gonna get a free hit here. Like normally Jonas will get a free hit, but because this guy is revival type, I'm not gonna give it to him. You know, I'm just going to count it as him coming back once. Mm, how crucial could revival type be there? A Gaia Mountain coming from the Gigant Spinosaurus. <coughs> oh, I, I think I messed that up. Nope, I didn't. I got it spot on. Okay, Awake Mode on free. Oh yeah, Jonas is second dino of the MVP of the team, the Super Tarbosaurus. Okay, that's once. Oh wow, it's Gigant Spinosaurus getting loads of hits off. That's twice, and all of a sudden, things not looking good for Jonas. Oh my god, he killed it! What, what is this Gigant Spinosaurus doing? <laughs> Okay, as for Jonas' third dino, which we didn't see in the first matchup, we have an Allosaurus. Well, it's going to be tough for Jonas now, because this thing against our super Eocar carrier of Danix Tactiles is not going to fare well. But the Hurricane Beat could be key for Jonas pulling this back. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm coughing today. Okay, that's the tie. And well, the Gigant Spinosaurus will come back as yeah, this is what I meant. This is why I let Gigant Spinosaurus live. But because but it doesn't get it twice, so I am gonna give Jonas the free hit. So the Gigant Spinosaurus will finally be defeated. Okay, as for Danix Tactile second dino, we have a Majungasaurus. Uh, not much to say here, but I have, again, I have to keep my wits about me because he does use Air Raid Storm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, just looking out my window, it's starting to snow. It's not good. Ooh, it's going to be tough for Jonas to pull this back, though. Dendro is well on top. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh, a Hurricane Beat has been triggered though. But the Allosaurus does get off a hit. And the 2 4 dive coming into play there. Not too much damage dealt though. Oh, that's the tie. And a Sonic Blast is coming from the Majungasaurus. I forgot what that does. I have to double check my notes. Oh, that's game over for the Allosaurus. I mean, even if I mess this up, it's going to die. And that will mean a bonus point win for Danix Tapto. Well, he didn't even need Super Yukok <laughs> After a famous draw in the first matchup, Danix Tactile responds with a win. 
and a bonus point win over Jonas Chu. Oh, that poor Allosaurus got his neck broke. Well, not much to say there. An, imp an impressive win after an even start for Danex Tactor. Right, time to update the table and we'll end the session. Okay, it's quite a tough one to wrap your head around this because it's very tight in Group H as I'd expect. You have Danex, you have Danex Tactor and Random Guy 86 joint on five points. Um, I'm putting Danex Tactor top because he has a bet he has a better record record than Random Guy 86. And then we have Jonas Chu and Arctic Warriors, actually. Arctic Warriors should really be in third. And then Arctic Warriors should be in fourth. No, 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 I don't want to replace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jonas Chu should be in fourth. And then we have Dendro in fifth with three points. And then Lapoke with Zip. Right, that, my friends, concludes round two. Um, some interesting matchups to look forward to in round three. So stay tuned for that. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.